and today we'll talk about Grubel Forcé and come back on a watch that was introduced early this year, the Signature One. But more importantly, we want to talk about the idea and the philosophy behind its development because it goes much further than just a timepiece. Today, Grubel Forcé undeniably represents the pinnacle of fine watchmaking. For a company that is still rather young on the watchmaking scene, a bit more than 10 years, this is quite an achievement. But something important to emphasize is that the notion of outstanding chronometry is at the very center of all its activity. Horological precision is at the core, but expressed with what is today the benchmark in terms of super high-end finishing and technical expertise. I wouldn't say that Grubel Forcé has revolutionized watchmaking, but it has reinterpreted it in a way that is simply spectacular, focused on substance, and one can only bow down at their no-compromise culture. Grubel Forcé only manufactures around 100 timepieces per year, and we all know the very high prices of these watches. So it's not aimed for that many people around the planet, but that doesn't take anything away from the respect I have for this company and their commitment. And I think we can all be very appreciative of what they've brought, uh, setting some pretty high standards. So, from the start, Grubel Forcé have always produced two beyond watches, whether simple ones, if one can say this, with their inclined uh, balance wheel, double or even quadruple tourbillons, but for the first time they introduced a non tourbillon watch with this signature model. But before going back on some details of this watch, let's talk about the project itself, because the signature endeavor is not a one-off project. The goal here was to associate the brand with a distinct watchmaker, and in a certain way have him take the lead on this development, but with the technical and artistic backing and supervision of Robert Grubel and Stephen Forsey, the founders of the brand, and naturally benefit from the brand's team and production too. Since it was their first go at this, they associated themselves with one of their very own watchmaker, Didier Crétin, who has been working for Grobel Forcé since many years and whose name can be seen under the escapement. But in the future the brand will most probably associate itself with watchmaker outside of the company but we heard even that it could be artists or special craftsmen in order to always bring something new to this line of timepieces. So let's talk about the watch itself and as mentioned previously this is the first non-tourbillon watch for Grobel Forcé but the development of the watch's escapement with its very large 12.6 millimeter balance wheel has been a special in-house development. This one oscillates at 18,000 beats per hour and can be seen easily on the watch's face and is held by a very large and complex bridge in terms of shape that totally highlights the outstanding know-how of the company when it comes to this notion of high-end finishing. This might seem simple but in fact requires hours and hours of manufacturing and especially polishing. The same can be said about uh, one of the main plates featuring outstanding Côte de Genève Geneva stripe but basically you can say this for all the rest of this watch, which only displays hours, minutes and seconds. The dial is slightly off-centered at 1 o'clock, with a smaller dial for the seconds at around the 9 o'clock position. Compared to other Grobel Forcé models, this timepiece is the smallest of the collection with a diameter of 41.4 mm and a thickness of 11.7. Well, I had the privilege to have one on my wrist and believe me when I say that it just sat beautifully on it. 66 Signature 1 will be produced with a split in terms of materials, 11 platinum version, 11 white gold, 11 rose gold, and for the first time they will produce a steel version for the remaining 33 timepieces. And I guess you're all wondering, well, how much this sort of watch costs, since the Signature 1 represents the entry level for Grubel Forcé, but we remain uh, nevertheless in the land of dreams as the seal version starts around 150,000 Swiss franc mark and goes up from there for the other version. But again, this for me is not what is important. It's really the notion of substance and total commitment they put into their watches that amazes me the most. And another aspect for which I have total respect is their willingness to share and educate what high quality watchmaking is all about. They could concentrate on finding these 100 clients per year, but no, they are very sincerely committed in passing on their expertise and understanding of fine watchmaking to the largest audiences possible. So we saw this with the Naissance d'une Monde project and with the Signature project, it is quite similar. They attend conferences and shows to talk about all this, and this is something quite remarkable when the same should be done by much larger companies. Well, they truly have a sense of responsibility when it comes to education and transmission of knowledge. So again, hats off to them, and we can't wait to see the signature too, but when we know that it took them six years to develop this first model, well, we might have to wait a little bit. So thanks for your time, and see you soon.